Hello friends, today, we're diving into a shocking statistical pattern concerning our health. Despite decades of advice from health systems to avoid fats, particularly red meat and saturated fats, the rates of diet-related issues like obesity, type 2 diabetes and other metabolic disorders have skyrocketed. Is it just a coincidence that the global financial value of the obesity-related health market has ballooned to a staggering $2 trillion annually? In the US alone, $327 billion is spent on diabetes-related health care each year. Can you connect the dots here? It's becoming evident that the narrative we've been sold about saturated fats being the real enemy is far from the truth. We're here to answer the tough questions scientifically, clearing away the confusion about red meat and saturated fats and helping you make the right choices for your health and wellness. We've spent countless hours digging through the data to bring you the truth. What are the real scientific facts about saturated fats? What causes insulin resistance and the associated health disorders? And most importantly, which chronic diseases can be cured by eating saturated fats and red meat? Join our vibrant carnivore community by subscribing to our channel and help us spread the healing message further. Now, let's dive into the facts. In our previous videos, we touched upon the entrenched belief that saturated fats are harmful. This notion isn't based on solid scientific foundation, but has been significantly influenced by the financial interests of big food and big pharma. According to a recent McKinsey report, big food giants like Nestle and PepsiCo report soaring sales of $65 billion through their high-sugar, high-carb products. Meanwhile, big pharma leaders generate over $24 billion from diabetes treatments alone. This relationship between big food and big pharma thrives on maintaining an unhealthy population. It's time to cut through the misinformation and understand the true scientific facts based on the latest research. A groundbreaking study by Volek et al. published in PLOS One demonstrated that a low-carb diet high in saturated fats improved insulin sensitivity by over 75%. These findings challenge the long-standing belief that saturated fats are harmful. Low-carb diets, like keto and carnivore, reduce carbohydrate intake, prompting the body to shift its energy source from glucose to fat, a state known as ketosis. This shift helps reduce body fat and improves insulin sensitivity. Another study by Feynman et al. found that carbohydrate restriction led to significant improvements in insulin resistance, glycemic control, and lipid profiles. This suggests that carbohydrates, not saturated fats, are the primary drivers of insulin resistance. Inflammation also plays a critical role in insulin resistance. Diets high in carbohydrates increase inflammation whereas low-carb, high-fat diets reduce it. A study by Forsyth et al. showed lower levels of inflammatory markers in those on a low-carb diet. Not all saturated fats are created equal. Natural sources like grass-fed meats, butter, and ghee are more beneficial than processed fats. These natural fats provide essential fatty acids and fat-soluble vitamins that support overall health. The fear of saturated fats has led to increased consumption of polyunsaturated fats, particularly omega-6 fatty acids, which can promote inflammation and insulin resistance. In contrast, saturated fats in a low-carb diet support a healthier metabolic profile. A meta-analysis by Siri Torino et al. found no significant link between saturated fat intake and cardiovascular disease, highlighting the more critical role of carbohydrates in health outcomes. Now, let's delve deeper into the top 10 chronic diseases that the health mafia doesn't want you to know can be mitigated or even cured by eating red meat and saturated fats, particularly on the carnivore diet. First up, high blood pressure. The carnivore diet is characterized by low levels of carbohydrates and processed foods, which are instrumental in controlling and significantly reducing high blood pressure. Numerous studies illustrate that a decrease in carbohydrate intake goes hand-in-hand hand with significant reductions in blood pressure, providing relief from this silent killer. Next, we discuss atherosclerosis. The carnivore diet, with its high protein and fat content, has ability to reduce inflammation and oxidative stress, two crucial contributors to the formation of arterial plaque, which leads to atherosclerosis. Thus, the diet fosters cardiovascular health and can prevent coronary artery disease and strokes. Following that, we examine type 2 diabetes. By drastically reducing carbohydrate intake, the carnivore diet lowers blood sugar levels and improves insulin sensitivity, thus mitigating the harmful effects of this chronic disease and promoting better overall health. Then comes the high-protein, low-carb approach of the carnivore diet promotes weight loss by reducing overall calorie intake 
and stabilizing blood sugar levels. This dietary strategy also supports the body's ability to burn fat for energy, leading to a decrease in body fat percentage and BMI. Fifth, we look at metabolic syndrome. The carnivore diet addresses the root causes of this condition by reducing the intake of refined carbohydrates and sugars, leading to improved markers of metabolic health and lowering the risk of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. Sixth on the list is inflammatory bowel disease. The diet's anti-inflammatory properties help reduce gut inflammation and promote remission, providing relief from symptoms such as stomach pain and fatigue. Seventh, we've got Crohn's disease. The carnivore diet helps to minimize dietary triggers that aggravate this condition, promoting gut health, reducing inflammation, and improving symptoms to offer respite from this debilitating illness. Eighth, we address ulcerative colitis. The diet works by eliminating food irritants and antigens, thereby reducing inflammation and promoting the healing of the colon, thus alleviating the painful and disruptive symptoms of this disease. Ninth, rheumatoid arthritis. The nutrient-dense meat products typical of the carnivore diet can reduce dietary triggers and inflammation, alleviating joint pain and improving offering a more active and pain-free life to those suffering from this autoimmune disease. Tenth, we have lupus. The carnivore diet by reducing dietary triggers and inflammation can improve symptoms of lupus and support the body's healing processes, giving those affected a chance at a better, healthier life. We've also found that certain types of cancer can respond positively to the carnivore diet but more research is needed to fully understand and prove these connections. We've delved deeper into the benefits of saturated fats and red meat, and explored the top 10 chronic health conditions that can be improved with the carnivore diet. What has been your experience with saturated fats, red meat, and the carnivore diet? Please share your journey in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, do give us a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones. For more content on health and wellness, subscribe to our channel, and don't miss our next video, we'll see you there.